take one William segment with Miss Dion involving uh, her daughter's situation in school. And action. Welcome back to That's the Reality of It. And I have a special guest, Miss Dion, is, uh, is with me. And we have a very touchy subject we're going to talk about uh, that regards, uh, in regards to her and her daughter and the situation she finds herself in uh, that we feel needs to be explained uh, by the uh, p people that involved. But we first want to hear the story from Miss Dion about what happened. Miss Dion, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you and for having me. Your daughter is a senior? A senior in high school. Okay. And she explained to us why you're here and what you want uh, everyone to know. I'm here for the injustice of what my daughter has had to um, endure for the past almost a year. December of last year, 2017, Victoria was at lunch and um, a young lady had a keychain on the table and she thought it was hand sanitizer. She sprayed it into her hand and immediately she knew it wasn't. She turned around and she sprayed it on the floor and was not sanitizer. But because she sprayed it more than one time, the mace, it turned out to be mace, made everyone cough, people ran. It was, you know, bad but not horrible. Um, the very next day they called Victoria down and they said we have the, the visual but not the audio of what happened and we saw that you sprayed it. We know that you didn't intend to harm because she didn't spray it at anyone. But um, because you did spray it, Mace is considered a weapon and she was suspended. After a month of um, being suspended, they suspended her to the designee, which means in order for her to come back to school, the designee at the superintendent's office would have to um, either allow her back or say she would be suspended um, indefinitely to an alternative school or e-learning. After the meeting with the designee, um, which happened about maybe a month and a half after Who, the incident. Who is a designee? What is a designee? Okay, so the superintendent's office has, um, they have these designees that will speak in, in without the uh, superintendent being there. Is that like a counselor or something? Um, someone on behalf of the superintendent's office. Okay. So okay. they have these specific people that mm -hmm. speaks be on behalf of the superintendent's office. Okay. And they make decisions based on um, suspensions, based on whatever incident that happened and they'll decide whether it's a, um, a long suspension, a suspension um, that where she has to go to an alternative school or whatever. Mm -hmm. So Victoria missed six weeks of school. So she didn't go to the alternative school? Before, before the meeting even happened, uh, she missed six weeks of school. So why didn't she go immediately to the alternative school? They have to make an appointment. So you uh, have to meet with this designee. Mm -hmm. So they gave us an appointment of January 21st. Mm -hmm. The incident happened December, I think, 14th. And so six weeks of school went by. Before she could even get into the other school? Before she could even have the meeting. Oh, the meeting to the meeting, get into the office. correct. The meeting to find out what was going to happen. Oh, I got Because you. what happened was we just knew she was suspended. Right. And the suspension, you know, after that, I decided I wanted to speak to her counselor, her vice principal, um, and the principal. I went to speak to them. The principal would not see me. Principal Steele would not see me. Okay. I end up speaking to the vice principal, oh. Mr. O'Brien, and her counselor. And, you know, I said to him, I said, you know, this is supposed to be a school that is the elite and you're not protecting my daughter because, yes, she did spray mace, but someone brought a weapon into the school. We're not addressing that. He said, no, we are. We are going to address that. So, so they addressed the person who actually brought the mace, yes. brought the weapon into the school. Correct. Okay. So they said that person is also suspended to meet the designee. Okay. So I said, okay. I said, but I would like to speak to Miss Steele. Miss Steele she, is the principal. The principal of Carver. Okay. She was not um, available for me to speak to her. At any time? At that time or any time. I've tried three different occasions to speak to Miss Steele. You know if any of the other students, such as the lady who brought the uh, Mace in, was, did they get a chance to talk to the principal? I'm not sure because okay. they would not speak to me regarding anything outside of my daughter. Okay. So um, when we did meet with the designee it, um, that particular day, she was there as well, and the young lady. And 
the injustice started at that moment because that young lady, her mom works for the Board of Education. So when we went the in... What the weapon? Yes. Her mother works for the Board of yes. Education. Okay. So when we went in, mm -hmm. it was like, hey, how are you? How are... And it was obvious that they knew her, knew right. the parent. Right. And so at that moment, I just knew that things weren't going to go well. Um, I met with Mr. Conkle, which was the student um, designee, to speak to Victoria and I. And he tried to get us to admit that she knew what she was doing. Mm -hmm. And I said, unfortunately, she didn't. Not okay. unfortunately, fortunately she didn't. I said, right. Mr. Conkle, she grew up in a neighborhood where mace is not something that she carries. Practice, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. I said, she may have heard of the word mace, mm -hmm. but she has no idea the effects of mace mm -hmm. and what it can, the, the harm it can cause. So I said, um, she, Now, this school uh, is predominantly a white school? It's a, yeah. I'd say, but it's a it's a good mix. A good but mix. it does have a lot of okay. Caucasian children. So the uh, principal is Caucasian, and the vice principal, all Caucasian. the child's that be on a white. Yes. Okay, and the lady who brought the mace in. Yes. Was she black or white? She was black. Okay, and she was part of the board of it. The mother was part yes. of the board of education. Okay. Yes. Continue. So she was suspended, mm -hmm. but not to go to an alternative school. She did e-learning, and only she was suspended for one term. Victoria was suspended for two terms, which is January to June. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. January until June. Okay. So it was harsh. We cried, but you know what? We said, okay, we have to be tough mm -hmm. because Mr. Conkle said, listen, if she does do well, maintain good grades, have great attendance, then I will vote for her to go back. He said, the process is, I have a meeting with Miss Steele, the principal, and, you know, I explain how well she did or how well she did not do, and then I give my summation that she should go back. Okay. He did say, however, because it's a magnet school, she has the, Miss Steele has the choice. The alternative the, decision. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't a magnet okay. school, it, it's his decision. Okay. But because it is a magnet school, the children sign a student contract. Mm -hmm. And if you break the contract, it is within her right. So I, I already knew that. Mm -hmm. But he said the chances are that what happened is, you know, very, very small because I go in and I present what Victoria has done. Mm -hmm. So. And did he do that? He, d he didn't even get the chance. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. Um. So, Victoria maintained a 4.0 GPA, third mm -hmm. quarter and fourth quarter. Okay. She tutored the children that were at Catonsville Alternative School. A lot of them could not read. Mm -hmm. She was a mentor. She um, took her SAT. She was just, she was doing an exemplary job at Catonsville. Mm -hmm. Principal loved her. Staff loved her. We got a letter from Miss Steele in June stating that she's going to withdraw Victoria. For what reason? Because Victoria did not do well mm -hmm. while outside of Carver, mm -hmm. and she broke student contract. So, so why now, why would she say she didn't do well if the other school told her that she? I didn't. couldn't understand that mm -hmm. until when I spoke to the man after um, after I received that letter. I had to appeal to a Mr. Greenberg, who mm -hmm. is her boss. He's okay. in charge of the magnet pro magnet program. Okay. And when he looked at the letter, he said, "Oh, because this is a generic letter. We haven't used this letter in years." So that, to me, was the first flag. Well, not the first flag, but it was a huge flag for me that you didn't even take the time to give me an updated letter. So the letter should not have said that. So it was a generic letter that everyone would get mm -hmm. if she withdraws them. So it doesn't itemize whether she did well or didn't. It just says she didn't do well, and that was an untruth. But she didn't do well in the alternative schools, what the letter was saying. Correct. Okay. She didn't do well outside of outside being called. Okay. Yes. So she went to an alternative school and she didn't do well. Okay. And I said, that's an untruth because did you speak to anyone at Carver? And I called the principal immediately. And she said, out of all of my children that was sent to this alternative school, everyone from other schools have checked on the progress of the children. Miss Steele never once called. No one from Carver has ever called to see how Victoria was doing. Mm -hmm. So she was like, absolutely not. She didn't get anything from me. So did the principal or the people from the other school acknowledge that how what she was doing to, yes. to the other to They the immediately school. sent letters. Um, I went to the school, they wrote letters to me and I took it to Mr. Conkle. Mm -hmm. So Mr. C I called Mr. Conkle first and he said, really? Mm -hmm. She sent a letter? He said, I am supposed to meet with her during the summer. 
And during the summer, I present to her how well Victoria has done. So, yes, it's very surprising that she made the decision without me. He said, however, she has the right to do it because it is an alternative. Um, it is a uh, magnet school. Okay. Um, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. I want to talk about the next steps you took and uh, okay. what happened. Uh, but we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Okay.